What's up YouTube? Quadzilla here with a, uh, another tip or trick that you can actually use with your razors or a boat or me, it's gonna be my tow rig. Uh, I run a power stroke diesel and my temperature gauge inside my dash had actually failed. Well, when you go out and buy a gauge, you get your bezels and stuff, this is kind of how it comes. So you got all your attachments and everything on there and I can attach this down by the floor and have it underneath like some people do, but then it's kind of out of your eyesight. And I don't want to drill into my dash. So I'm going to put it on top of my dash instead of buying the pillar gauge pods and stuff and blocking my view even more to where I have a hard time seeing out. So, who the hell wants to see all those wires and everything hanging across your dash? I bring you the redneck gauge pod. So what this is, this is a two inch cap, a two inch coupler. So what you do is you'll take your primer and you just kind of like dab it on the edge here, just real light dab it. You can kind of roll this to keep the primer from kind of coming out and then do the same thing with your glue on both of these. Take it down, give it a hard press with it aligned Hold it for about a minute or so, and it'll it'll be sticking. And then you can take a knife and kind of shave the excess glue off. Come up and drill yourself a hole in the side. I mean, this has one little spot here, so that's part where I'm gonna use for the dash. So now, I can take this wire, feed it through the hole. So as I go to put my gauge in here, one of the things you will notice is it will fit literally like a glove. It'll fit this cap just perfect. Now what you may have to do is take uh, a knife or something and dimple the edge to keep it from bouncing out, but that will kind of be somewhat your finished product. You can have that sitting right up on your dash or what have you, hiding most of your wires. You can come in with uh, some of the plastic paint that uh, rust oleum for like outdoor furniture and stuff. I've already done this one time in my truck for a uh, transmission temperature gauge. So now you can just paint this and I'll paint a dark gray to match my gray dash. And this chrome, I'm not a fan of chrome, so I'll probably come in and Rattle can that black so it matches the one next to it, but cheap and easy fix. If you go to buy a gauge pod, they're about a hundred bucks from Jags last time I looked. And I was like, boy, I ain't gonna do that. But then like you go to mount this, now I can take that little tab on the bottom, put some two-sided tape on that, some more two-sided tape on there, just push it onto my dash, and there we go. My other one's been up there for probably about six years now and haven't had a lick of issue. And I do a lot of heavy towing and stuff, but this one here, I figured if I can ever find out what's wrong with my factory gauge, I can still use my factory gauge and then I'll have this one up there as a secondary and there you go. So just another little quick tip, trick, whatever to share with you guys. And uh, the other thing in here, you could actually use a real thin piece of two inch pipe in there. But if you do that, you gotta watch where that the pieces are in there that clamps it to this bezel. Cause you're gonna have to cut part of it out of there for that clamp to slide past it. So I would just glue the edges together like that. Call it good, you two sided tape, it's not gonna wanna vibrate apart anyways. And then you wouldn't have to dimple this. You can if you want, but give her a shot.